I was raised in South Auckland, uh, five kids. Basically, uh, our parents broke up when we were relatively young. I was about four or five. Um, at that time, uh, I was passed around, um, going from home to home. Um, yeah, and by the time I got to eight years of age, I'd been to 10 primary schools that I can count. And at that time, uh, the social welfare was stepping in and, and then basically me and my younger brother ended up in a home, uh, an orphanage, uh, basically uh, with 90 other kids. So that was pretty much where it became stable for, for me. Um, and then, you know, as a, as, a, as a boy with troubled past, I went on to rebel and ended up in prisons and and it wasn't until I'd come to Auckland and got a job and, and actually met somebody, who was about 21, whom actually made any difference in my life, who, who basically uh, I never really connected with, with someone until, until then and that time was when I met a, a girl, you know, and, and she changed things for me and I seriously wanted wanted to make a home and um, correct my my lifestyle and and um, but I, was, I guess I was so still full of anger issues that you know that um, you know uh, things come to a head and and, um, and that's when I lost my way and, and lost what meant so much to me. I'd never had it. I'd never had that before, and and uh, yeah, that's when I started looking. I guess that's what's brought. You know, that's that's what made me look for God. You know, I lost my family when I lost my wife, well, my girlfriend at the time. Sorry, my son. Uh, something really uh, wasn't right, you know, and that's when I started seeking. Started seeking. Not sure what it was, but I sure, you know, it had come down to the point where I fell on my knees, uh, not knowing the outcome really, uh, just just doing it because there was nothing else. It was it was through an agonising, uh, a sorrowful, you know, saying sorry to God for all the all the damage for everything that I had been through and done. Um, I was so lost at this point that really, you know, God was um, the only option and I basically went all tooth and nail really with my prayer. And that was a long one. It's the, and it was the longest one I've ever had a prayer to God. And I let it all out, and, uh, and uh, man, and that was when it clinched me. That's when I realised after that prayer, when I stood up, that I felt the presence of the Holy Spirit. There was something, this just massive, tumultuous weight. <sighs> man, it was something else. That's when I realized there was a God, you know, there was this God that knew who I was. I'm here today uh, is making this decision to uh, be baptized um, with my family and friends here to witness, be a witness that I've made a declaration and have surrendered my, my myself to the Lord, uh, fully committed to knowing that from here on uh, he will lead my life in this journey. My name is Stephen and I'm a child of God and this is my story.